sand or gravel what makes for the better aquarium substrate in today's video we're going to be looking at the pros and the cons of these two substrates and hopefully we'll find out so let's start by having a look at a sand substrate now the last couple of tanks i've set up i have used sand one of my favorite things i like about sand compared to gravel is how easy it is to plant into sand will instantly grab onto your plant roots and therefore your plants are much less likely to float away or get uprooted by fish in the early stages of your setup a sand substrate is also excellent at locking down nutrients and stopping them from entering the water column and for this reason sand is often the preferred substrate for use in a dirty tank now if you don't know what a dirty tank is this here is a dirty tank father fish inspired and it's basically where you put a layer of dirt which contains high levels of nutrients at the very bottom of the tank and then cap this dirt with ideally sand to lock that nutrients down so plant roots can make use of it but it won't leach out into the water column and cause an algae outbreak sand is generally considered to do a much better job of this compared to gravel because of how tightly it compacts really sealing off that nutrient rich layer at the bottom and preventing excess nutrients from entering the water column another pro to the use of sand is that a lot of fish actually do a lot better on sand as opposed to gravel and uh, these are things like for example corydoras that if they're put on gravel they can actually damage their little barbels and also there's certain types of cichlids that will like to dig and stuff like that so in them sort of cases sand is definitely the preferred choice now another pro or possibly a con depending on what you're looking to achieve from your substrate is that the compact nature of sand particularly fine sand can potentially create areas of no oxygen where anaerobic bacteria can grow now this anaerobic bacteria can help reduce nitrates within the water column and therefore help reduce the need for changing as much water which is obviously a good thing Something to consider though is that these anaerobic conditions can also result in the production of hydrogen sulfide gas which is toxic to fish. This is however apparently neutralised in the presence of oxygen so an air stone in your aquarium should prevent this from becoming an issue. I did recently run into this issue of hydrogen sulfide gas in one of my aquariums though and it smells bad and I did have an air stone going so it is definitely something I am now wary of when using sand as a substrate and as you can see here i ended up completely taking down the whole tank it was so bad luckily there was only one fish in there at the time my bristle nose pleco which i was able to move to a different tank so that is some of the pros of using sand as a substrate in your aquarium and possibly a con depending on your thoughts on anaerobic bacteria so let's now have a look at some of the definite cons of using sand firstly sand unlike gravel can be easily sucked up by a gravel back when doing maintenance now this isn't just a bit annoying it could potentially cause a real problem if you siphon tank water directly down your sink or even directly into your drain as this sand could cause a sink or drain blockage which may require a professional to unblock and a pretty pricey bill in the same way with sand being a lot lighter than gravel it can also be much more easily blown around when adding water back into your aquarium during like a water change or something also filters can sometimes end up blowing sand around and depending on what type of filter you've got it can actually end up getting sucked up by the filter and causing damage to it so that in my opinion is some of the downsides to using sand in your aquarium let's have a look at some gravel just quickly though before we do that i just wanted to take a quick second to say if you are enjoying the video or you're finding it useful don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't already hit that subscribe button because at time of filming we are at 900 and 75 subscribers so thank you to everyone that has subscribed but if you are yet to hit that subscribe button now's the time let's get to 1000 that being said back to gravel so as you can see here this setup has a gravel substrate and this is one of my longest running tanks at around four or five years and although i did do a bit of a rescape on it a couple of videos ago and i put a card up in the top right hand corner if you're interested in checking that out we didn't touch the gravel substrate at all so this gravel hasn't been touched in the whole time it's been set up and when i say it hasn't been touched i mean it literally hasn't been gravel back once and it still looks great now i'm not saying using a gravel substrate means you never have to do any maintenance or gravel vac because there are a lot of other factors that impact that for example this is a planted tank it also has shrimp and various snails including malaysian trumpet snails that bury down into the substrate and help with the breaking down of waste also it's quite minimally stocked so that also makes quite a big difference compared to something like a goldfish tank with no plants something like that would much more likely require regular gravel vacuuming and maintenance but i do think if this tank was set up in exactly the same way same fish same plants all of that and all we did was change the substrate to sand instead of gravel i don't think it would have fared as well sand looks great when you first put it in probably nicer than gravel but over time in my opinion it starts to look a bit more messy and that can happen quite quickly like what happened in my tank with the sand substrate that i ended up having to completely take down 
Also, unlike sand, it's not going to be blown around or disturbed as easily when doing water changes. Or, just when initially filling up the tank, it will be a lot easier to not mess up your substrate. One thing about gravel I will say, which could be seen as a pro or a con, is how it can disguise little bits of waste or debris that fall onto the substrate so it doesn't look as messy. The problem with that though is that it does this by allowing the waste to drop into the little gaps in between the bits of gravel, which yeah, hides it out of view, but it can also trap it and stop the filter from being able to pull it out of the water, which over time could cause a problem if you get a bit lazy on the gravel vac in front or you haven't got any plants that can make use of that waste. Another thing though I do prefer about gravel compared with sand is in the initial setup process, I find gravel way easier to rinse off and clean in preparation of adding it to the tank because with gravel you can use a colander or a sieve or something to give it a good old rinse under the tap whereas sand being much finer you have to rinse it out in a bucket and it's just a bit more of a faff. That all being said there are a lot of different types of sand and a lot of different types of gravel which can also make a big difference and what I mainly mean by that is the different grain sizes. For example a coarse sand and a fine gravel are going to be fairly similar in terms of substrate whereas a fine sand is going to act very differently to a pea gravel. So these are all things that should be considered if you're trying to decide between sand or gravel but for me currently unless I was to be keeping a fish that specifically requires sand I prefer a nice smallish pea gravel like what's in this tank here and really that's just because of how well this tank has done and how easy it is been to maintain and keep looking good even four or five years after the initial setup and that's compared to aquariums that have used sand as a substrate that seem to start to go downhill a bit within a few months but who knows i'm sure there are other factors affecting these aquariums so what are you saying are you team sand or are you team gravel let me know in the comments and i'll see you on the next one